So today I wanted to do something very very dramatic and on top of that I wanted to do a cut crease because I've never done a cut crease on my channel yet I'm so very surprised I've never done a cut crease so I thought why not do it and I was inspired by this palette right here yeah I was inspired by a palette it has so many beautiful shades so the palette is from Makeup Revolution this is the Fortune Favors the Brave palette this is what it looks like from the inside it has so many different shade ranges to play with and I wanted to do something green so I did something very very dramatic with a hint of green so you all can replace the green for any other color that you all want by the way I just wanted to do a green cut crease and I love the way it turned out oh my god I think this is the best makeup look that I've ever done till date trust me guys I'm not joking I'm very honest before getting into the video there is going to be a small little surprise in the end so if you want to know what the surprise is you will have to stay tuned till the end of the video and it's a very very good surprise let me tell you that so yeah I'm just going to stop blabbing and also before I go please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it would mean a lot to me so yeah if you want to know how I achieve this look please keep watching so we're going to start with the makeup revolution why does it Everyone have to honk when I start filming. So today we are going to be using the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors The Brave Palette. I absolutely love this palette and it's such a versatile palette to use. This is what it looks like from the inside. There's so many shades, you all can do so many looks out of it. But today we are going to be doing something related to green because I feel like doing something green, smoky, maybe. Anyway, let's start off. Before uh, doing our eyes, I'm going to prime my eyes first. And I'm just priming my eyes with my concealer. I'm using the LA Gold Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. And to set that concealer, I'm just using the shade right here, the creamy white shade and setting my concealer. Now this is a very crucial step otherwise your eyeshadow is going to crease. So you need to set your concealer and then I'm just taking this whitish shade right here and I'm directly applying this on my brow bone region just to give it a little bit of highlight and that lifted effect. Next, we're going to take a transition shade and I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm going to be applying that directly onto my crease and above my crease as well. So for that, I'm using my Pack 204 brush. This is the best eyeshadow blending brush. It's so soft and makes my job so very easy. So I'm just applying that in windshield wiper and circular motions and blending that eyeshadow in then we're gonna take this darker brown shade right here and I'm gonna be applying that directly onto my crease so you want to start off with very less product first and then build it up so I'm taking very less amount of it and then directly applying it on my crease so you want to make sure that you're holding your brush pretty far away and very lightly starting to apply this color in windshield wiper motions and circular motions so basically windshield wiper motions will lay a product in your crease and circular motions will blend that product in so again pick a little bit of that tap out the excess and start blending that product in And I'm also getting the same dark brown shade in my outer corners. So once you've blended it out, the intensity becomes lesser. Again, start packing the product a little by little. 
blend back, blend back. That is the process that we are going to repeat. And once you're happy with the intensity, you can stop and move on to the next shade. And then I'm going to take this black shade right here and intensify the outer corners a little bit more because I want my look to be very, very smoky at the outer corners. So again, I'm slowly building that color up because blacks are a little difficult to blend so go very very slow with this like very little product at a time and step by step keep adding that product the black eyeshadow and then I'm just taking my brush which I used to apply the brown eyeshadow I'm trying and blending out the edges of this, of this black color so now we are gonna cut the crease so yeah we're gonna do a half cut crease and i'm just using my same la gold pro concealer i'm using a very thin brush this is from real techniques and this is called as the accent brush so you want to be very careful you want to look down and you know find your crease so start off with very less concealer and first map out the shape of your crease like the hollows of your eyes right here once you've mapped that out now you can fill in the empty space and again whatever is left on your brush start flicking that product and try and fade that concealer into the black eyeshadow shade so once you've mapped out your crease i am just gonna take another clean brush and i'm gonna be using the same white creamy white shade from the palette and set this concealer down then once that is done i'm gonna be using this emerald green shimmery shade and i'm gonna be applying that directly onto my eyelids where i applied the concealer And make sure you're blending it out at the edges so you can completely leave it at that but i want to add a little bit of sparkle so i'm going to be using this makeup revolution awesome metals eyeshadow in the shade emerald goddess now this is a foil eyeshadow you see instantly it adds that oomph to that look once that is done, I'm just taking my brush for which we use to apply black and I'm just blending out the edges right here and trying to create a very soft gradient. So I've already finished my upper eyes, like my eyeshadow application on my upper eyelids. I'm just going to apply some mascara and some falsies and I'll be right back. So I've just applied some lashes. For that, I use my Ardell Double Up Lashes in the style 203. Now we're just quickly going to finish off our face first and then move on to the rest of our eye makeup. So first we're going to prime. For primer, I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime. This is called as a Blur and Smooth Primer and apply this all over my face. And then for my foundation today, I'm using my Pack HD Liquid Foundation in the shade 2.5. So this foundation is like my, one of my favorite foundations as well because it's so lightweight and gives me that coverage and stays on my face all day. This perfect for all skin types and me being an oily skin, it just suits me pretty well and lasts almost for around 8 hours. And then with my favorite YBB Makeup Perfector, I'm just gonna blend it out. And then for my concealer, I'm using my Any Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. This is again one of my favorite concealers. And I'm just cutting my eyeshadow and giving it a shape with this concealer itself so that it looks more precise. And then I'm just going to highlight the center of my face, that is the T-zone region, a little bit under my eyes with my Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 Sand, I suppose. This is again a very, very good concealer. It just brightens your face instantly. I usually use this just to give that brightening effect under my eyes. So 
can you see it instantly brightens up your face and to set my entire face I am using my RCMA translucent powder y'all can use any translucent powders that you all have this is what I had in my hand so I just wanted to use this and it's been a very long time since I used this translucent powder specifically and then with my stippling brush I'm just gonna brush off the powder from my face so now let's just quickly finish off our eyes I'm gonna start off the lightest brown shade that we used in our transition area and apply it right on our lower lash line and then we're gonna take the darker brown shade and apply it very close to our lower lash line why is there someone talking whenever I have to speak anyway I'm just taking the black shade and I'm applying this in my lower lash line very very close to my lower lash line and I'm keeping it halfway to New York itself and then I'm just applying some white eyeliner to my lower lash line as well and then some mascara to our lower lash line as well And I'm applying the same Makeup Revolution Emerald Green Eyeshadow right in my inner corner as well. So now we're gonna quickly finish our face. And first we're gonna start off with bronzing. For bronzer, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade All About Bronze. This was my go-to palette before and I absolutely love it. As you can see, I've hit pan on this one. I love this bronzer. So as you all can see it's pretty pigmented so like take a little at a time and start building the bronzer and it also is a very good product because it blends out pretty well and it's not at all patchy. I have been loving this brush to bronze up my face currently. This is a brush from ProArt. This is a 176 F brush. It's actually a blusher brush but as a bronzer to apply a bronzer to apply a bronzer it's just perfect. So today I'm gonna use a blush but I'm gonna use a very tiny amount of it and for that I'm using my Ultra Blush palette in the shade Hot Spice by Makeup Revolution itself. There are too many Makeup Revolution products in this video but I just grabbed these because I know these are very very beautiful so I'm using this shade right here. This is a dusky pink shade. Again, this palette from Makeup Revolution is so beautiful. You get all the shades that you need as a blusher and you get two highlighters as well. Though you can't use this one, you can use this one as your highlighter but all the shades in this palette are so very beautiful. Again, very inexpensive, very affordable. So in case you all want to buy this palette, you all can go on Nika.com because you will get all the Makeup Revolution products on that side and you will get quite a lot of off as well because they have a lot of discounts going on on Makeup Revolution. So for my highlighter today, I'm going to be using an eyeshadow from the same Fortune Favors, the Brave palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here. Now this is like a very beautiful pearly goldeny color. As you can see, this highlighter looks absolutely beautiful. And then I'm just using my fingers to highlight my nose as well. And then a little bit on my brow bone just a little bit so before moving on to our lips i'm just gonna set my entire face with my gerard's leo the setting spray in the flavor peach and for our lips today i'm starting by lining my lips this is the lacme 9 to 5 lip liner in the shade brick rose that is done I just fill in the outer corners of my lips a little bit with the lip liner and then we're gonna fill in our entire lip with the Nika Matalicious lip crayon in the shade next level nude this is my favorite nude and I wanted to go for a nude lipstick because our eyes are very heavy today so all the attention should be basically on the eye not anything else so I'm taking a nude lip over a darker lip so yeah this is the complete look I hope you guys like it this is the first time I have 
done a cut crease on my channel and I absolutely really love this look because it has come out so well and specifically this eyeshadow palette is the best. I feel like you get so many different shades, you all can do so many different looks instead of that green cut crease, you all can go for a blue cut crease, you all can go for a pink cut crease, you all can go for a rose gold cut crease, anything that you all want with the same technique. Only thing that is going to change is the shade which we applied on the concealer after cutting our crease. You all can use any shade that you all want depending on the outfit that you all are wearing. You all can go for an orange, you all can go for a rose gold, anything that you all want. So yeah, this is the final result. I hope you guys like it. So now for the surprise. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this palette right here that is the Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave. I just wanted to give you all something back because you all have been supporting me so much in such a long time. So I thought why not give you all a gift from my side as a thank you. So one of you is going to get this Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette. Now let me think what you all should do for this giveaway. I think just comment in the comment box below which is your favorite festival. Yeah, that's it. I just thought about it right now. So yeah, and also you have to be subscribed to my channel. That is a must. That's all you have to do to enter the giveaway. So the giveaway will end after a week once this video is up. All the details will be there in the description box below. So yeah, that's it for this video and let me know what you all would like to see in the future like what makeup looks, reviews, whatever you all would like let me know in the comments below so that I can do it for you all, I can help you all out so yeah that's it for this video and I'll see you all in my next one, bye!